Hey guys, it's Shannon from uh, Get Fed. I am happy to be with you guys tonight. I'm just going to break off in a prayer before I get into uh, the other prophetic word of the evening. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, sharpening us, for fashioning us, for greatness, um, making us reach higher and new and awesome levels within you, Father. We ask that you continually give us strength, provision, mercy, as you said you would, Lord. We're counting on you for all of the blessings you have told us that would come into flourishing upon our action and upon us building upon it. We thank you so so much for um, everything that you do, Lord. There's no one like you, Father. We give all the honor and praise to you. We renounce any fear of loneliness, anger, strife, bitterness, um, uh, doubt, and anything unholy, Lord, that would hinder us against you, away from you, Father. We just um, we want more of you. We ask for healings of our hearts, healing of our mind, healing of our soul. Um, and Lord, give us a constant heart and will to submit to your will, um, your perfect and wonderful will in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay. Okay. So guys, um, the Lord was telling me a lot of people have been seeing, if you're seeing like one, two, three, four, or sometimes maybe it's one, three, and four. Um, the Lord is trying to tell you guys that you're walking in alignment and keep going. He's telling you right now to keep going. Um, there's big decisions, not only for myself, but there's big decisions coming up for other people where whether um, or not uh, you're going to take some sort of treatment, whether or not you're going to um, find another job, whether or not you're going to um, be with a specific person, whether or not um, you're going to um, you're going to uh, a goal that you had, you're going to uh, you're going to uh, to uh, finalize that goal, and you're going to complete that goal or task, and it's going to come to fruition. So, the, what the Lord is saying right now, He gave me Exodus. Um, 25, like all the way down. And basically, um, what the Lord is saying here is that he wants you to continue to, um, cry out to him. He wants you to submit yourself to him fully on, um, <laughs> submit to him fully and to, um, to gain joy in that because what he's what the lord is doing right now is, is he's positioning uh certain people at this time at the table um so he gave me exodus 25 all the way down and what that is about is it's a basically about when the chief priests were supposed to bring offerings to the uh tabernacle and things um at that time and they brought golden um candle uh bro golden candle um I'm sorry. Uh, what are they? The, the the things that hold the candles. I'm sorry. Golden candle stick holder thingies or whatever. I'm sorry, not whatever. But um, and so and so it's about this. Basically, this is about positioning and uh, positioning and prepping you to um, to dine with the Lord to be. Yes, yeah, so right now he's fashioning a lot of us and putting us in our positions um, for the uh, promises and things that he has had. A lot of us are having, um, a lot of us are in a, the devil has sent a wind of doubt to a lot of us in a lot of situations. The Lord is saying doubt not because what he told you is going to come to pass. He just needs for you to believe it. He needs for you to stand on what he told you and act it out like it is happening because it is happening. It can happen unless you renege it or you don't want it because the Lord is not going to give you something you don't want, okay? Um, we know about that from the, the, uh, the story 
about the talents and um you know one person put their talent in the ground and they were um you know they were not a good servant and you know the other people they grew their talents and they progressed in things and oftentimes um trying to be safe in a matter will uh will be detrimental for you we are not supposed we're supposed to the lord did not give us a spirit of fear but a spirit to progress because we're more than conquerors in christ we're more than conquerors um so in negating what you what god wants for you you're basically saying you don't want your life to show evidence or be an example for other people of who you are in Christ. So um, when you have doubt, the Lord wants you to take it upon yourself to really realize what you're doing when you have doubt in a situation. What you're doing when you have doubt in a situation is you're telling the Lord, well, I don't think you can do it. I don't think that that's for me. I don't think it's going to happen. And the Lord is saying, no, it can happen and it will happen. And it doesn't matter if things have not happened for you in the past. It doesn't matter if things haven't happened for you in the past <laughs> um, and things like that. What matters now is that you're on another um, level. The Lord has brought you this far so you can go and progress on to another level. He never wants us to be comfortable in the same position, to be comfortable and to just be um to be content because I know when people say, you know, I'm content and stuff like that, uh, the God, God is often calling them into a higher place. And with going to a higher place, sometimes we're fearful because we're not sure that we're equipped for the position of the higher place. But the Lord is saying you are more than equipped to do this. He has been fashioning you from greatness, from the womb. Yeah, the Lord wants you to be, I can feel the Holy Spirit right now, so awesome. But the Lord wants you to be everything that he intended. And I know it seems like you're not on the right track to you. I know it seems like you've done this or you've done that or you don't deserve to be where God is positioning you. But the Holy Spirit is saying, yes, you you will earn it. You will earn what the Lord is going to put at the table, not just like working on, not just like work earn, but your growth within yourself is going to bear fruit. It's going to be meaty. It's going to be the meat. So the Lord is just, he's placing us at those tables. He's placing us at, at great tables to face great giants. So, man, it's going to be awesome. But I was just giving you guys that word. And so it was basically um, Exodus 25 all the way down. I'll read a little bit of. I'll read a little bit. And. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And thou shalt make the seven lamps thereof. And they shall light the lamps thereof that they might give light over against it. So basically that means, I'm sorry, it's King James Version, so if it's these and thou's, but it basically is saying is that one light is going to uh, light the other lights to make sure that there's light everywhere. So let your light shine through. So it's, it's, it's um, if you guys could see the... Um, the positive, not only does Satan blow winds, but God also uh, blows blows wind, blows his air, his life force into us to um, to make to uh, to make uh, marks in the world like never before. And so it's just tremendous things going on in the spirit realm. But I love you guys. I just wanted to tell you that that you guys can do anything you guys um god is telling us a lot of us have to uh go and deal with the decisions and uh things like that i don't know why i'm seeing someone's treatment someone's treatment that word keeps coming up and um someone must be sick or something but your treatment i don't know what kind of can treatment it's going to i don't know i'm just seeing treatment but whatever it is don't uh, be afraid. God is going to position you. He's going to put the right people in front of you. He's going to put the right circumstances in front of you. All we have to do is just 
believe. You would not believe what you can do with a little belief. I am a person recently coming from what I thought was impossible situations where the devil kept telling me, no, no, this is not for you. This is not for you. And in my mind, I was thinking maybe it wasn't for me, but the Lord was like, no, this is for you. So that's what he's saying to you. This is for you. Healing is for you. Love is for you. A decent life is for you. And growth is for you. So just, you know, I love you guys. And if you have not liked or subscribed, would you please con consider doing so in joining the Get Fed family? Where we want more than manna, we want to get fed. So I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.